Crisis Ham here, and I have some good news and some bad news. Okay, the good news is, well actually no, I'll start with the bad news. The bad news is that we accidentally somehow lost our pressure again. Like the file was corrupted, there was a problem, it was really bad. The good news is we hadn't done that, we weren't that far into it, and also the good news is that we are starting a new campaign, which would be the British campaign. That's also good because I happen to like this campaign a bit more than Prussia. So, we're going to start by getting our research on the way. I always like to start with empiricism and social contract because I actually make my research go faster in the long run. And I'll get this army in the port. I might want to move it somewhere later on. Start recruiting. Our roads can wait. What can I build here? I want a conservatorium. I want to make that a bigger place. And I'll move the army in there to make them happier. Sorry, just got to change some settings. There we go. I just want to make the sound a bit, a bit louder. I happen to like the background music. Okay, Britain, what we can, can we build? We can do that. I might wait to do that later. America. Let's look at our American colonies and places. I want to get the basic roads done. Um, what do we have here? I'll build that. Okay, we have pretty fine little army here. Um, I don't need it to recruit any more just about yet. That's all our... Yeah, it's all our colonies in America. Um, so we want to soon start building a moose factory, moving down through Huron territory, through the Iroquois, and link up in Savannah with the 13 colonies. That way I can actually incorporate them into my, uh, my empire, which will be very powerful. Get the basic farms done, um, maybe that can wait. Uh, roads, if I still have money. Okay, hopefully I can recruit some militia now. No. Um. Yeah, whatever, we don't have any immediate threats. Let me just get our trade routes going, and then we can end this turn. Okay, I'm gonna start trading with Austria, if we do have an alliance. Okay, good. Now... I don't like trade with the Mughal Empire, because I've tried it, and they don't have any um, goods flowing through, plus they'll get crushed by the Marathas. I will trade with the Marathas. <clears throat> and Prussia, because they're friendly with me. Ooh, that sucks. Um, let's see if we can give them something. Do we not have... No, we don't have any technology. Whatever, let's see if that happens to change it. <clears throat> okay, so Prussia doesn't want to trade with us. I will instead trade with um, Crimean Khanate will get crushed soon. I'll trade with Venice if I can. E, I'll do that. And Denmark, because they have a couple of cities. Although... <laughs> this is pretty uh, pretty weird. So Denmark would get... I will get that, which is pretty useless. They would get Scotland. And then I would not be able to just take Scotland back because we'd have an alliance, so definitely not. I'll trade with the Crimean Khanate. Nope. Nothing doing. New Spain? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There's one, there's one more. Get us a bit more trade income. Italian states, they won't do it. Let's hope Louisiana will. No, and last people to try. I know Persia will say no. Let's try Savoy. Okay, that's pretty weird because they're actually friendly to me. Okay, well, we. I don't think we can do any more. I'll just check my ministers. Um... See, this is really useful. See this guy? He's really, really good. 
John Smith, so I get a lot of extra little bonuses. I say I would change my king, but I can't really do that. I'll change my head, or I'll change my American person. Hopefully I'll get one of these four-star guys or five-star. Uh, I got another three-star. Um, well, we can try next turn. Yeah, it's end. I really like the British campaign. It's pretty fun all in all. So many nations in this game. It's really cool. Uh, Spain. We'll have to take them out eventually. And France. But I want to focus my energy on America right now. Okay, Louisiana. Iroquois, we're going to be doing that again. Okay. Yeah, so I'm already at war with the Iroquois then. And I think it's almost about to be our turn again. Oh, I'm going to want to run away from that. Okay, so we get the mission to capture New France and two of the Cherokee territories. And then all of the 13 colonies will join my empire but i want to do this really quickly because the thing is the 13 colonies kind of are terrible in the beginning they get chewed up by the iroquois sometimes i've seen the iroquois even get boston and the french too and whoopsie sorry so i want to quickly get some iroquois territory get a stronger presence down here maybe kill the huron I'd probably go through the Huron Territory to this, and then to Ni Niagara, then to Cayuga, and then link up. So, let's get this so we can then build Musketmen Auxiliary, so we, then we can recruit natives. Um, how many can I? Okay, can I, I can have five. Can you recruit one of those guys because they're fairly good? And then I'll get some, uh, any, what, where do I want to conquer here? Okay, I can get Trinidad and Tobago and the Leeward Islands from here. So what I'll do is I'll start building up my fleet. Um, actually, I have a fleet over here. Oh, yeah, it's because they ran away. Bring these guys to that port. Uh, bring these guys to this port. I'll recruit another, what do I have in this way? Two sloops and a brig. I'll recruit another brig then. And I'll start on some line infantry to capture the pirate's territory. What I have here. Okay, plantations, sugar, and coffee. So when, you want it, when you're choosing plantations, the good thing to do is go to government to trade. So I can do either sugar or coffee, so whichever one is a higher value. Coffee is a value of 8, sugar is a value of 12, so sugar would be a lot more profitable. Let's do a sugar plantation there. Um, I probably want to upgrade some of these businesses right here. I'm going to start, I'm going to recruit one unit here. Just a militia, just to get the place happy. And anything else I can do. I can upgrade the church. I don't really need that. I can upgrade the conservatorium. Who are my enemies? Let's look at who I can conquer in Europe. So France, Spain, any okay, Westphalia. Can I land there? No. Maybe I can. I'll just recruit one more lined infantry. And I will upgrade the, this and end the turn. 
Let's get my rake actually to the port. And my fleet over here. Uh, and the agents. Yeah, I can't recruit anything. I don't have the money. Just end the turn there. And, uh, here we go. The United Provinces, as usual, have a strong navy. Oh, now Prussia wants a trade agreement. Okay. Yeah. Great. That will give me more, more money. Okay, 13 colonies. I hope they start recruiting some more units. They have a lot of towns. <sighs> See, this is what always happens. The Air Corps gets some big native army, and 13 colonies don't have any troops at all. And the Air Corps just roll through capturing territory, which is why I need to kill the Air Corps and kill them fast. Okay. And good, we're now researching... Empiricism, uh, we're, we're done with empiricism. We're researching the social contract, which is good. I will upgrade my thing to a college. Upgrade my iron. I might, I might do that a different turn. America, let's recruit another line infantry. Um, move these guys into the port. Okay, now our navy's a bit stronger. Can I just go into... Okay, that's France. Brute Hessian line infantry here. Okay, we got a not-so-great income here. Let's see, what's the... Okay, so I can move my priest out to start converting Hurons. I will recruit, yeah, I'm already recruiting that, so I will either upgrade this, Let's see how much fur is worth. Fur is not worth a whole lot. Um, okay, let's go to Europe, upgrade some of these businesses here. Next turn I'll upgrade the iron workshop here, and the uh, fur traders in America. Okay, we got a lot of roads going. That's good. And some traits being gained. Let's end the turn there and keep going. Okay, Prussia's getting a bit more powerful. They've captured Saxony. Polish aren't doing so well. I'm surprised Russia hasn't already captured the Crimean Khanate. They usually do it within a couple of turns. Oh, I hope the Iroquois don't. Okay, good. They got beaten. That's good. Denmark? Um, yeah, okay, Sweden's at war with Denmark, which is as usual. Um, okay. What to do now? Construction report. We got some governor's residences. Residence high. No, definitely not. Okay, what can I do here? Um, my Scottish income is not great. Um, I don't really need that. My Okay, well, I'll come back, see how much money I have after I spend some in America. Let's get another line of infantry going here. Speed that up. Get two. Huh. 
I'm going to spend some more money here. And we'll give Scotland, we'll give Scotland and, uh, oh, Saxony's been destroyed, yep, by Prussia. Let's move this guy into scout, see what the Huron have. Oh, okay, they don't have that much. Good, they don't have, they don't have a strong army. So I'll make this, I'll keep getting that army stronger, march down to the Huron. Meanwhile, I will be making this army down here stronger in order to capture either the Leeward Islands or Trinidad and Tobago. I'll probably do Trinidad and Tobago because they have, because Trinidad and Tobago has a plantation and a, uh, and a port, although it's not very poor. And then by killing the pirates, I won't have to worry about my navy getting killed and my trade routes being raided. And then I will also end the turn. Yeah, I will also eventually go to Scotland, build it up a bit more, improve all the governor's places in my cities, and I'll do that all in the next part of my Great Britain campaign. And uh, this has been Crisis Ham for Isaac, and see you later.